Hi, so there is a new version of the rig for this project of Tiles Rig. We have the we have the texture this time, a new iteration on the texture. So um, if you are animating on this project, you should probably reference the new rig and check it out and see if it works the way you like. So the one problem you will get as you evaluate your scene is that your, your, the character will either load up with no textures or with the old textures. Okay, um, if it might be that in your animated scene you change the shader, in which case the new rig won't be able to reconnect the shaders. To force Maya to reconnect the shader, that's how you do it. So now I'm working with an old rig in here, um, and I want to go File, Reference, Editor. In the Reference Editor, I want to make sure that I can go Reference, Replace Reference, and I'm going to grab the latest version of the rig. Ignore the file path name in here because I'm using my own folder where I'm doing all my tests, but you will find it in the rigs folder anyway. Uh, ask Piotr if in doubt. So I'm going to grab the latest version of the, of the rig, which right now is 22. I'm going to click on reference, and in terms of animation, once Maya is done loading, nothing should change in here. Okay, let's see if that's really true. There you go. In terms of animation, the pose is still the same. Some of the textures you will see will load, some others won't load, and it's going to be a mess anyway. So how do we get rid of the textures we don't need and reconnect Maya, the reconnect the rig to the old texture, or rather to the new one in the original rig? Uh, it's rather easy. So you want you want to go on and right click on the reference editor here and go reference and oh sorry file and there's something called list reference edits here you want to go in there and that list is going to tell you whatever you changed in the, in the original um, in the original uh, rig be careful that lists also animation so you want to be re really really careful in here so in the filter up here I can type in capital SG stands for shading group followed by star so I'm asking whatever was a shading group edit can you list it? I press enter and the reference editor is going to kindly list those settings for me. So these guys are all um, edits made to the shading, which we don't need. We, we don't need them anymore because now we have the shading in the rig file. So I'm going to select them all. Make sure you have the filter. Remember this tool can delete your animation and it will if you don't use the filter. And then I'm going to click on remove selected edits and Maya will think about it for a second and some of the stuff you see will start coming up on screen possibly some colors or I don't know what now in here not much changed um, perhaps some normal and some uh, specular came up I don't really know the other thing you need to do is you have to go file again uh, list reference edits and when it opens up the other thing that you might have changed is the file name right so if I type in file and the file and star, it's going to list me whatever file node I changed. You see file texture name there. To be sure, to be safer, if you type in file capital texture there, followed by asterisk uh, by star, then you're you're going to make sure you're only changing uh, file texture names in there. So now I'm going to grab all of these file texture names, remove selected edit, and I should get the colors back. There you go. It's loading. And now I have my texture in here and I removed all the edits that I've made to to the rig there. And that's pretty much it. Cool, have fun.